Hello everybody, so um, I wanted to do an update, so this is my update. I woke up this morning with nothing. It was really crazy because I had uh, no real like intense swelling. I have uh, some bruising over here, little tiny one like right here, uh, and then kind of just feels like, like uh, right here. I'm getting some kind of like, I don't know what you would call it, some lip scan or something. <laughs> uh, but other than that, not too much. But I did call them and say, hey, you know, this feels kind of weird. It feels like lumpy, which I've done some, some research on that. And it says that it can be, you know, lumpy sometimes or whatever. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of videos that's just like, you know, rub it, don't rub it, massage it, don't massage it. And, um, it's just really so many different answers to this. So I called them and I told them, you know, I don't know if this is normal, you know, she's like, okay, well, how is your, um, how's like the bruising and the swelling? And I'm like, well, basically non-existent. It, it's not, nothing's really happening there. And, um, so she said, can you take pictures of it and then, um, send it to us? And I was like, yeah, sure. And then I'm going to go on Friday just for the uh, doctor to take a look at it. But to me, um, you can't really see it on here. Maybe let me smile and maybe you guys can see it then. Do you see that? It's like white. And I was like, mm, I don't really know if that is normal. So I told her that, uh, like when I'm out in natural light, it's to me it's very my lips look very pale and um you know I, I don't even know how to describe it I've, I've not had anything pumped into my lips before so I can't really uh, uh pinpoint what this is and so I took some pictures in the natural light and send it in I'm just waiting to hear back from then and I did set up an appointment for Friday just just to go in and look to make sure that there's nothing weird happening or um you know some sort of uh rejection <laughs> I don't know what you would call it some sort of rejection of, of of some some sort um so that's that's my update I mean I think we are uh resilient <laughs> all of us out there in the denture community because by the time uh, we reach this which is three years in we've like been there done that experienced it we have you know we've had so much trauma with our mouths that this is nothing so I told her, you know, there's been no swelling or anything like that um, this morning. Because they say, you know, second day you wake up and you're like, oh, don't look at the mirror. Don't just don't pay attention. I said immediately because you're going to look horrendous. And and I was kind of bummed out that I didn't look that way. <laughs> you know? So, so um, anyways, uh, all that all that's going going well. I'll update you guys. I probably won't update tomorrow because, you know, I mean, unless there's something really bad that happens with my mouth um i'll give you a side view so side view side view as you can see it's you know that bruising i don't i think that's pretty much normal but um you know i so i probably won't update you guys tomorrow but i will um update you on friday to tell you how that went and what they said and uh, just make sure everything looks okay and normal but we went to see Josh today, so it was really nice to see Josh today. Uh, and my sister had her uh, pictures done. Um, I don't really know. I didn't have this done, and I thought it was so cool. So I recorded it. Uh, she goes back next week to do like a bite impression, but then the following week, um, it's back to the digital uh, portion. She is getting digital dentures. And so I spoke to Josh today and said, hey, you know, when she comes in for, you know, to, to start working on more of the digital stuff, is it possible that we go ahead and record something so that you can kind of explain the process and uh, what happens? And he's also going to talk about um, uh, the pricing and such, which I did ask him about the pricing today, but I would, I would much rather have him explain certain things to you guys because obviously... He's the professional, so um, I'm going to let him explain all that. So in three weeks, next week, I'll do another video with my sister while she's there, and, and you can see that portion of it. Because there's still some things, there. they still incorporate the, um, the old-time ways 
of doing the dentures and then they incorporate it with the digital portion of completing the dentures. And you are going to see something really cool that I'm posting um, posting here in a minute after this video. I just wanted to pop on here and uh, give you my update about my lips and also uh, give an introduction to my sister Deidre. Uh, so who you're going to see next in this video is my sister Deidre. She is one year older than me. So, um, and I'm not going to say any ages just in case. I don't care, but you know, just to respect the lady. Um, but this is, this is my sister. And so moving forward, you are going to see her process on the digital denture journey. Um, and then the video I'm posting, it's really, really cool because this machine that they're using is taking, uh, the way Josh described it today was, it's taking thousands of photos, like a second. That is how crazy this machine is. And so I kind of shot back from, um, you know, her on the chair and what she was doing, and then moving back over to the actual monitor and what what that machine was picking up and putting onto that monitor. So I want you guys to see that because it is a part of the digital denture process and it's going to probably be um, helpful in that three week mark whenever Josh comes on and starts talking you through the process. So lips are fine. You're about to meet my sister. It's a very short, short video. Um, she has never liked being on camera. She has never liked taking pictures. She's always had a a rough time with her smile as a little girl she had extremely bad um crooked teeth uh she had the layered teeth you know baby teeth and, and adult teeth smushed together and pointing out this way and pinging down that way and uh, my my parents unfortunately they did not keep up with our uh our, our health as children you know as far as shots and you know regular dental appointments and and medical appointments and it just it wasn't a part of our childhood, so she was never able to get the help that she needed for her teeth. And then um, by the time she was in her early 30s, mid 30s, um, it just pretty much started going downhill from there. She she lost her teeth fairly quickly. Uh, we It runs in our family. I mean, yes, I'm not going to lie. I did not take the best care of my teeth. I was in a lot of um, just bad situations as a as as a as a human as a woman um and i i didn't take care of myself and i think a little bit of that exists in all of us at some point i mean depression sucks and uh feeling unworthy sucks and having no energy sucks and it's just you know there's there's so many there's so many variables involved in um in that but we, we definitely come from um a family of very bad teeth i mean my my father, my mother, aunts, uncles, you name it. By the time our family members hit mid-30s on, it was just, it was game over. Teeth would deteriorate very quickly. Um, so she is very shy. Well, no, she's not shy. She's awesome. <laughs> she is big and she has a huge attitude. And when you put us together, we are bad. <laughs> so, but you'll, you'll get to see her. And then in the following weeks, you'll also get to see her. And I am also excited to see her journey and um, see how much this is going to change her life because it has <laughs> absolutely changed mine. One million percent. I did a a thousand percent about face, a complete full circle and came out so much better on the other side. So it's really excited to see uh, my sister because I love her very much, um, go through the same things that I went through and watch how how successful and happy she becomes in, in her new smile and uh, to see her find her confidence in this in this world and, and build that um, that power, you know, uh, that that self love and self worth because that that right there changes um, that changes so much in in people's lives. So, anywho, so you're about to see my sister, Deidre. She's one year older than me, and her journey began three months ago. She had all of her teeth extracted, and she did her first appointment today for the digital denture journey. So, um, I'll update you guys uh, either Friday. 
Um, well, no, I'll, I'll update you Friday to see what the hell's going on with my mouth. You know, if this whiteness is, maybe it'll be gone by then. I don't know. I'll still update you because I still think that the first three days of after lip, in, lip injections are important. So I'll update you on Friday. But um, from here on out, I'm going to try to make a, a lot of these next appointments about my sister because I'm pretty stag stagnant right now until I reach, I, until I start reaching my, um, my, my implant uh, moment, but I really want to share her story. So from uh, next week on, it's really going to be about my sister. So um, let's welcome her <laughs> and give her all the love and support and um, just uh, uh, amazing advice and, uh, you know, friendships that, that I have been given. I really hope that you do the same for my sister. So uh, next video would be my sister, Deidre. All right. I love you guys very, very much. And I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.